Hi guys, I've done another mural. Uh, this time I was at Brent Knoll Church of England Primary School. I did one in their playground so all the kids can have a look at it as they're playing. I'm really, really proud of it actually. And do you know what? The, the school was such a lovely group to, to work with on this project. Um, I worked with the head teacher on what design he wanted. So he wanted, he wanted something that was um, hinting towards like the forest school that they're just starting up and which I think is great I think it's such a good idea so I came up with the idea of these kids going through the forest and the, like as explorers just really pushing the exploration and the the friendship of the group you know and so I did this design and I did two other designs that weren't based around the forest school but we, we eventually settled on the forest school design which I'm really really happy about because I think it turned out really really good I used my golden acrylic paints to paint this, so I used the heavy body ones and I add in the matte medium to make it go a bit further, also to make it slightly more matte. I hear that golden acrylics will be bringing out a so flat range, and I'm really really excited to try those, so who knows, maybe my next mural will be in those when they come out, when they, when they come to England, I mean I struggle to get hold of the golden acrylics in England anyway, so. I might be waiting a bit for the so flat range. I'm really glad that I used the golden acrylics because yes, they are a bit more expensive, but they are UV resistant. So this will never fade regardless of how much sun and rain hits it. And the colors are just so vibrant. I think because this is at a primary school and you know, it's meant to be intriguing to the kids. I wanted it to be really bright and colorful and interesting. I think they like it <laughs> because they kept coming up to me and they were like, oh, you're an amazing artist I was like, oh thank you <laughs> I feel like it right now <laughs> because kids they don't lie they just come out with whatever they don't care so you know if I was gonna get an honest opinion on wh whether it was appealing to kids the kids were gonna tell me you know um, one of the teachers said that one of her little boys in her class when I was painting the the blue girl he was like miss is she just really cold or is she part smurf and I just I thought that was so funny I was like you know what I'll take it. That is brilliant. <laughs> I just I wanted the, the kids to really like them and I think I think that I think that means he likes her, so I'm okay with that. <laughs> um but yeah, so she's part Smurf now. <laughs> we can say that the little boy is part Simpson or something, I don't know. I am really really happy with it. The pink character I actually designed like a year ago. And I never really knew why I started designing her because she's not in my style at all. She's very cutesy, she's very childish, as in like, she's a character you would aim at children. So, and that's not the kind of stuff that I've ever really done. And for me to come out with that was really odd. And I never used her in anything and I wanted to do like an animation thing with her, but I never got round to it. But then when the head teacher came to me with this mural proposal, I was like, I know exactly who I'm gonna be using for that one. I know exactly what character. So yeah, it was really nice to see her painted up properly, you know, with all her funky colors. I think the end result is really, really lovely. I think I, I, I'm really proud of it. I mean, the wall's the biggest size that I've ever done, or that I've done so far, you know, so I am really proud of it, especially as I had to get onto a ladder. I am not a big fan of heights, so the fact that I was even able to get up to the third step on the ladder, I'm pretty proud of. <laughs> I know it sounds ridiculous, but... I also had a really good time being there as well, you know, painting it alone was really, really fun, you know, being able to just get into my own space with my headphones on and just get it done and see how long it takes it was it was really really nice because the last mural I did I did over several several months because it was very broken up especially because of covid and being able to go to my mum's like I wasn't able to go in um whereas this I just boshed out all in one go which was great because it meant I've now got a time frame for how long it takes me to do these kind of murals and I, when I get another client I'll be able to say how long it will take me I'm actually doing another mural on Monday so that'll be fun getting excited to start that one. The staff were really, really lovely in the school. You know, um, I was eating my lunch in the staff room when the kids were out playing, because you know I'm in their playground, so I couldn't film. But it was nice to sit and chat to the teachers, and they were really complimentary on my, my art and stuff, and they were really intrigued to see what else I had done, which was really, really lovely, because you know, they didn't have to, to ask all of that. It's the same with the kids, you know, really, really friendly, really welcoming. 
I didn't feel awkward or out of place being there. I was, I felt quite happy to help myself to a cup of tea, you know, because it was that kind of environment. I just felt very comfortable. They were really lovely. Anyway, I've been talking a lot, so I'm going to let you continue to watch the rest of this time lapse. I hope you enjoy it. And if you do, please do leave a like, maybe subscribe, you know, so you can see my next mural, which I am starting on Monday. So very exciting. I'll have another time lapse for you hopefully in a week or two. Who knows? So we're nearing the end of the video now. I've really enjoyed putting this together. Doing these time lapses has been really fun and a really great way to kind of document how I'm doing with my murals. But um, thanks for coming along for the ride. I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you did, please don't hesitate to hit that like button and subscribe. I will be uploading another time lapse mural hopefully next week. So stay tuned for that. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.